The Invincible? Fucking cold in here, man. Hey, Bud, we eat the rest of these and then give the milk or something or come get this, please, before I waste it. And I can't get them because there's chocolate in them, but I, otherwise I'd give it to them. Uh, looks good, yeah. Oh, yeah, iconic. Novel. Oh, yeah. The Dragonfly, a small research unit of the Interplanetary Commonwealth with a crew of six, travels the distant regions of space. Wow, we. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh shit! Novak gets the mineral, but the cost of a broken leg, leg, an immense pain. Astro Gators. happily celebrated at the end of the research cycle it was a time of creating deep bonds and feeling unstoppable victorious I set a course for home and go for a well-deserved rest in the hibernation chambers uh oh <laughs> Yasta uh, my head Marit anybody Get up uh, Now get down Uh Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, I sent a base. Base is Dr. Yasna. I, I need backup. Base, come in. I have a... I appear to be on the red planet, possibly. I'm showing disturbing symptoms. A brain fog, severe pain in the frontal lobe. Confusion. I have frontal lobe confusion. At first glance, there were no serious injuries. And yeah, I'm quite concerned. I don't even know how I got here. Oh, well, here it is. Backup needed, I repeat. Do you hear me? What's in the bag? I hope we have some equipment. Communication module appears to be frayed. I can't hear you anymore. My receiver worked for a moment, but now there's only silence. Oh no. My communication. Damn it, I've lost my beacon. Where is it? I have two solid hectobars in the tank. It's enough hectobars. For several, hours. several hours. What is this? Device. Position device. Just like I thought. Nothing. Nothing. Beacon can't be detected either. Looks like a Lego piece on the end of that. Oh, 
Let's see if the past me hasn't failed the present me. And let's hope she took notes. <laughs> Are we on Regis 3? Doesn't ring any bells. And my crew have no way to tell me. So I report that I have no recollection of this planet. The last thing I remember. Hang on. We've closed the research cycle. We, we were already in hibernation. Flying back. Is my blackout a side effect of metabolic depression? That would be bizarre. For some reason, our crew split into two groups. The first one set up camp. I wonder if I was with oh, them. Oh, boy. Oh, am I on my way there? Both groups landed in the same place. We took two landers to the surface. I don't usually do this. Maybe the first one broke. The first group explored the ocean with no biologist. It's weird. And the other one, just me, took a different route. Very odd. Leading to... Right. I was heading straight to the camp. You must be somewhere near. Send up a flare, the probe! Anything! Okay. I'm gonna head to the camp. But I'll be keeping an eye out for you. Dog needle. Landmarks. Well done, past me. <laughs> you didn't disappoint after all. Rope. Oh, I saw Roko. I need to stop doing this. Find your exact location. Uh. An object I call needle. Mm. Let's find the needle in the haystack. Is that? No, that's definitely not it. Resembles the eye of a needle. I have a needle. We have the first one. I need one more. Hey, crocodile. Where are you? Crocodile. That's the crocodile right there. Look at that. That has an interesting shape of a crocodile indeed. Ah. I report that I have established my position. Time to hit the road. All right. Looks like we need to go. Probably out this way. Dropped equipment. I must have hit the ground pretty hard. The metal detector. Dr. Gorski, you won't be pleased. More equipment to repair. The detector's dead. Actually, it's peculiar. Why would I have one with me? Deposit exploration isn't my thing. I'll have to ask Merritt about that. I'm in a canyon, which doesn't make it easy to navigate. I hope the data's trustworthy and you're close by. Oh, I have something on the tracker. I assume it's no one from the crew, so perhaps it's my beacon.
Look for me on your trackers. Mm, huh. There's water on this desert planet. <laughs> Could be water. On some planets, such storms last for several hundred days. I hope it's not one of them. Yeah, I don't think we want to go that way. <laughs> the camp. Well, I can't go this way. So where are we supposed to go? I guess maybe this way. See our ship. You're not leaving without me, are you? It's tired pretty quick. Active ash outbursts and extreme temperature changes may explain the extinction of local fauna and flora. But it's all just too idyllic. There's no dust in the air, the sky is clear, and the soil is like laterite to me. Perhaps not highly fertile, but not entirely barren. Time to go. Are oh, we climbing? in a straight line I, I see you can you hear me doesn't look like it I just need to get down from here great a route that won't break my neck <laughs> I hope
Gentle slope. Okay. I'm at the bottom. <coughs> Looks better from here. I'll be with you soon. Middle of fucking nowhere. Wind moons. Oh boy. Visibility could be better. Maybe I should wait. closer to my destination. I must have walked for some time. But I don't remember it. Did, did I black out again? Um. Yeah, what's going on here? I black out again. And hop her closer to the camp. Find a place to land. I need to get back to Dragonfly as soon as possible. Go to the infirmary and do a full set of tests on myself. Must be a rope here. Somewhere. Full set of tests on myself. Singing this while you're climbing. Life's not that scary. I remember you, Regis Third Satellite. What is what? Astrogator, sir. Crew. Dr. Gorski, right on time. Any updates? We have a set of data from the near surface probe. Oh, great. How's the activity? Zero, zero, and two. So, less than nothing. Atmosphere? Nitrogen, 78%. Argon, 2%. Carbon dioxide, zero. Methane, 4%. The rest is oxygen. 
But wait, that's 16%. With oxygen concentration as such, there should be life. At least some microbes, and yet we have detected no traces. Yeah, we'll get to that later. Let's finish with the probe readings first. Air radioactivity? It's virtually zero. In the world of paradise. No radioactivity, no endospores, no bacteria, no mold, no viruses, nothing. Just the oxygen. If there were no living organisms on the continent, there shouldn't be this much of it. What if life develops on some other continents here? No, I doubt it. Insulation outside the equatorial zone is weak. You don't see how thick the polar ice caps were, Doctor. I can guarantee a minimum of five miles of ice sheet, potentially six. Mm, that's Track true. log, landmark, reform. In the ocean. Some seaweed, algae. Here only. But why didn't life migrate to the land? Could be because of hard radiation. Mm, I don't think so. According to the probe readings, the ground activity is exceptionally low for this part of the galaxy. I wonder if some special kind of drought intolerant evolution occurred here. And that would at least explain some of the abnormalities. Hmm. Anyway, we'll have to take a look under the water. First, it would be good to know what time frame we're working with. Marit, you have the geological analyses? It's a bit too early for mature conclusions, but this planet looks old to me. Such a fossilized egg must be at least six billion years old. Besides, the sun has seen better days too. It's almost a red dwarf. Any rare resources, forms, creatures? We can't expect such detailed data, sir. Not from this distance. Yes, we would have to explore the surface. Astrogator, what exactly are we looking for? The value of this planet. For now, it may seem like the pinnacle of nonsense. But I assure you that Regis Three is not without worth. With all due respect, Astrogator, I have the impression you're not telling us everything. As always, Dr. Coble, your instincts are correct. Please forgive my reticence. My goal was to maintain unimpeded research neutrality. There is indeed a very important factor of interest in this planet. The Alliance. The Alliance? The Alliance? Correct. What do they have to do with it? Well, they've sent their most powerful unit here. But to our best knowledge, Condor's traversing a distant quadrant. Well, I'm not talking about the Condor. So, the Invincible? Good guess, Doctor. A steel behemoth with the power to produce billions of kilowatts in a split second, converting it into energy fields that no material body can penetrate, concentrating it into destructive rays as hot as stars that can reduce a mountain range to dust or evaporate an ocean, together with its crew of almost a hundred men, professionals that are neither better nor worse than us. Well, I dare to say we're better trained, Astrogator. They are, however, unquestionable masters of propaganda. I know that some accomplishments they brag about are very much far-fetched, but the capabilities of the Invincible are not subject to doubt. And we as the scientific body should sever ourselves from the emotional and symbolic facade. In other words, we cannot ignore facts just because we don't like them, Mr. Cole. All right, but where do we stand in all this? together with our, may I say, not quite as numerous staff. Despite our modest forces, we still have a chance to gain a critical advantage over the Alliance while avoiding confrontation. Okay, uh, and how would we do that? Simple. We leave this planet before the Invincible arrives here. Which is when, exactly? Well, they're still far away. <laughs> Astrogator, please, how much time do we have to conduct safe research? 13 days. There's no time to lose, then. I appreciate your eagerness, Cole. Thirteen days. Dr. Kraft, do we need full gear? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Also, I caution you against taking off your helmets for a prolonged duration. This amount of methane is not neutral. Breathing the local atmosphere will lead to saturation drop, and you may start showing symptoms of mild brain damage. Feel stupefied, but uh, don't worry. Not before an hour or even a couple of hours. I see. Dr. Gorski, will you program Arty to collect samples? Of course. Marit, Krauter, please prepare for the surface. Koval, you too. You're leaving early in the morning. And what about me? You're staying on board, Doctor. But Astrogator! Uh, this is not up for debate. I need you here. As you well know, there's not much work to do for a biologist on me. Oh, Any. 
Mm. Well, if I was ordered to stay, what the hell am I doing here? Yeah, what the hell are we doing here? Find a way to camp. It's like right here. Like right above me. So not. Oh, thank goodness. Not everyone's in the field. But this is Dr. Yasna reporting. This thing Do you picked copy? up equipment and then before. The campgrounds. Is anyone out there? Androbot. Stop. Androbot, stop. What the Ah, oh, Dr. Gorski. Have you made changes to the Androbot's algorithms <laughs> without telling anyone? <laughs> Again. Oh, A1. Well. Never mind. There's somebody. Oh, Dr. Crowter. Didn't you hear me earlier? So bad, my idiot. Is everything all right? Nice. Doctor, please look at me. I report that I've located Doctor Crowter. He's in bad shape. I'm going to examine him now. Astrogator. Finally. I've been listening to you for two hours now. My receiver is dead. No need to explain yourself, Doctor. I know everything. The transmitter was still working, so I heard your reports. Glad you didn't lose your head. Wait, please. I need to reconnect. <laughs> Testing. One, two, three. Copy you, Doctor. Loud and clear, but to the point. As I understand it, there's only Dr. Crowther at the camp, and he's not well. What happened to him? I, I was just about to examine him. He's a bad boy, idiot. Please don't be startled. I need to take your hand. Temperature normal. Pulse two. O2 saturation is fine. There's nothing physically wrong with the doctor. His pupils oh. respond properly. Look at my finger. No delay in reactions. Yet no response to verbal communication. None. Conclusions, Doctor. Do you have any idea what's wrong with him? Up until yesterday, he wasn't suffering from any mental disorders. I didn't even remember that. And there were no visible injuries. You didn't remember that before. So, I test his blood for toxins. Could it be the methane from the atmosphere? No. Methane poisoning causes different symptoms. I'm afraid it's something else. I'll prepare the infirmary. But first things first, <sighs> Lambda. We need to get you all on board. Everyone, not just Dr. Crowther. Couldn't we just evacuate him right away? If it were that easy, I would have sent the hopper long ago. Please look for the mission log. It should include crucial data about the crew's activities. We have three more people to find. You still need to designate a place for the landing. Find the mission log. Okay. Hello? A anyone else here? I found Dr. Crowther. The mission log. Dr. Crowther. It's not a mission log, but it will do. Dr. Crowther kept records. Metic Nickel, iron, magnesium, beryllium, titanium. Try nickel, iron, meteor, 
splashed into the atmosphere of Aegis 3, melted its surface millions of years ago. The shape of structures contradicts it. This is always. What's in there? Hmm. Dr. Gorski has moved away from the research sector to the west. Ah, that's right. We followed those deposits of metal. Metal? That's why we have detectors. Correct. Mine died, but Crowter had one as well, didn't he? Like everyone in the crew, Doctor. The most important thing is probably the landing coordinates. BA-2316. Noting. 360. Excellent. I'm uploading the data. Starting calibration. Are you looking for the detector? Yeah, just a sec. Got it. Please make sure it works. I don't understand why it wouldn't. It's a rather reliable piece of equipment. Okay. Checked. I'm leaving the tent. We gotta go west. Something is going on here. All right. Now for the robot. It's unresponsive. Yes, I know. I'm currently trying to establish a connection. Can I help somehow? You must look for the others, Doctor. I'll take care of this myself. Get the tin head back on its feet remotely. And secure Crowter. I have everything I need. Just... Is something wrong with the connection, sir? It's not working. I'm not sure why. There's a relay transmitter in the camp, so the signal should be strong enough. A relay? Huh. Yasna? What are you up to? One sec. I'm looking for it. What about the rest of the crew? You're gonna make them wait? If the Androbot isn't working properly, I can't just leave Krauter like this. He might hurt himself. Uh, fine. Proceed as you deem fit. Uh... Broken. I've got bad news. Our signal is far too weak to restart that Androbot. A relay malfunction? Not exactly. It's completely fried. I don't think a sandstorm could cause such damage. Well, that's irrelevant now, Doctor. There must be a spare somewhere in the camp. Please search for it. Babble, babble, babble. There's so much beeping. In here, maybe? Where is that? Fascinating. Did you find anything, Doctor? Nice specimen. Oh, it's still alive. Ah, the fish Dr. Gorski caught. Do you remember? Yeah, I remember. Something. So there is life here. Dragonfly, come in. Uh, hello, Regis. Dragonfly here. Dr. Yasna at the radio. And uh, Novik? Is his leg still bothering him? Yes. He's been resting in his quarters. We're setting up on the shoreline. It's late, but we still have time to examine the ocean floor. Gorski is preparing the probe for launch. We'll start research soon. Oh, and um, one more thing, Yasna. Yes? It's beautiful here. The ocean, wind, sand. My suit is pinching and cramping just at the mere sight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
Should I include this in my reports? I'm serious. I don't know about you, but over the years I've learned to hate you, Boyd. We do everything to go further. See more, take mankind one step closer to omnipotence, and then I can't even take a walk on land. As if enjoying everything that's around us was almost a... I understand how you feel, Koval. After all these years, I miss home too. Is it that obvious? I come across as, well, erudite, but at the end of the day, it's simple bombing that speaks through me. Well, a little obvious. We have to examine the composition of the ocean, but the... Collect the mineral samples. Yes, that's right. Koval, where are you honest? going? Gladly. Over. For a little, um... Uh, uh, Broken the water. I'm switching to manual. I'm going to take a look around. Uh, a recce. More like a quick ciggy. <laughs> Am I hearing this correct? 300... Are you going to smoke, Butler? Uh, no, no, not at all. I'm staying dutifully at my station. Five hundred. Oh, Am I seeing this right? Dr. Krauser, would you please have a look here? Of course. Just a second. It's like a school of fish. This is life. What are they doing? They're moving away from us. From us? It's hard to speak of normality here, but animals are usually not afraid of equipment or, or anything they haven't seen before. Are you saying they've already seen probes? I've no idea, but their behavior suggests some sort of defense mechanism. A catch at least one for examination. Then I'll be able to say more. Come here. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> Stop it. What did you do? I had to electrocute him. Wouldn't have caught it otherwise. I'm taking the specimen ashore. That's a fine one. There'll be plenty to dissect, yes, no? The fish are... What causes? I doubt it. Well, I don't see transmitter in here. Get the fish story though. We can't get into this tent. Transmitter. I have the extra relay. Excellent. Tons of extra. Signal should be back as soon as it's turned on. I can't get up there. Very good. I'm connected. Uh, what happened here? Uh, this is unlike anything I've ever seen. Is it going to work? We'll see. I rebooted the systems. And that should help. Good, good. It's receiving instructions. Ugh. I don't know if the Androbot should already be doing something. Is it still frozen? Yes. Unfortunately. Hmm. A positronic brain. That's correct readings. Receptors. Very goofy looking hmm. robot. He moved. Finally. Artie should be walking now. Does he? His positional data hasn't changed. <laughs> well, you can see that he really wants to go, but still can't. Uh, please check his legs. Hmm. Could be the server motor. 
Ah, that's it. Got you, you tin bastard. Uh, thank you, Doctor. I won't hold you any longer. Go find the others while I finish here. That's an order. Yes, sir. I need to go this way. Entering the research area. Clear for now. Tracker? Silent. By the way, what did they find here? Oh, right. You don't remember. A piece of metal sticking out of the ground. Sounds inconspicuous, but in this desert environment, it's a phenomenon. The artifact turned out to be too big to dig up, or to subject to chemical and spectrometric analysis. Dr. Gorski set out to investigate its source to find some end. And? Did he? That I don't know, unfortunately. It's here. I can see the structure. I'm in the right place. Understood. Please continue. Oh, strange. It's like a giant transmitter. I'm following the signal. Huh. It, there's something on the ground. The signal's coming from a cast of backpack. It's a journal. Geological cross section measurements. These are Merritt's notes. Oh, she must be somewhere close. Please search the entire area thoroughly. Millions of years old. <clears throat> FRG structure. EAS. Maybe just metallic debris. Plenary Commonwealth Headquarters. Dear Dr. Mary, in response to us in a player conference, we would like to offer you a promotion in the future. Obelisco 3 as an astrogator. Your skills and overall performance in previous missions of readiness to take the next steps in the space journey. We would be delighted to receive your response as soon as you are back. get up there somehow. <clears throat> Seems like the best course of action. I'm close, but I can't see her.
She's here. I found her. What her condition? Marit. Marit. Mm. It's me. Yes, no. She's oh. moving. Marit, wake up. Wake up. Do you hear me? Dr. Marit? No. No vital Thank functions. You. What's going I need on? To... One. Two. Three. Come on. One. Two. Doctor. No. Yes, now we have to find the others. Please give me a minute. Of course. Everything will be fine. All fine. Covers next. Yes, I think so. You should be close. Do you think? Let's not assume the worst. You'll find it, Doctor. Alive. I'm sure about that. Someone's here. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Yasna, status. Yasna. He's... Koval? He... Don't do this to me. No. Oh. You're alive! Did you hear that, sir? Cobble's alive. I didn't doubt it for a second, Doctor. What's his current state? Checking. Parameters normal, yet he's completely unresponsive. Cobble? Cobble? His eyes are so empty. Just like Crouter's. Cobble! What the hell is wrong with you? Are all the symptoms the same as Dr. Crowder's? He's calm. Calmer. Well, at least he's alive. Now listen to me, Yasna. The lander is on its way, but before you get Dr. Cobble on board, I want you to do something. Yasna. Why are you going back? I'm listening. Please look around for his journal. Some of pieces are there. It's everywhere. In pieces. Cobble uh, was in radio contact with Dr. Gorski. Taking notes. That's exactly why it's so important. These notes may help us find our man. I see you later. I'll go Love over. It. But it may take a while. Huh. Have you found it? No, it's a. Uh... Nothing about Dr. Gorski. Ah, found them. Surprisingly Structures, accurate. Structures, branch, underground. We went down every step. Great. Let's get Structure, Cobble to the evacuation area. Branch, we'll massive vertical up. exhibit. <laughs> Won't be pretty hard in one the structure, water tank. But the underground here structures. Make things a tad easier. Structures. Feeling. It won't 
break into pieces, right? The descent is proceeding smoothly. Don't worry. Degradation of equipment, recurring connectivity issues. It all has to be related somehow. On the other hand, how could it be? There's not much on this planet. Some primitive life forms in the ocean, metal deposits in the ground. Although the latter got Dr. Gorski's interest for some reason. It's difficult to find a consistent pattern. All of this seems insane. Pure chaos. But I don't believe in coincidences. The greatest threat to humans is usually, well, humans. So I believe our crew members have fallen victim to the Alliance's actions. I must say, in any other situation, I'd be sure of it. Invincible, however, is not in the Lima system yet. Their other ships have never even ventured near these regions of the galaxy. Or at least, there's no indication. Except for all these disturbing events. Hmm. Right. Something doesn't add up. I see you up there. Only Gorski's left. We might have made it quite far. Agreed. Everything points to it. I don't know how long I'll be looking for him. It might take hours before I come back. We also don't know Gorski's condition, nor what he's going through. I know time's running out. Still, I should go back for Merit. We need to find out what killed her. How did she die? For everyone's sake. Hmm. I haven't considered that. You want to carry her to the Lambda? Yes. I need to understand. I can't remember if she was up above, I think. Yes. Up above. Why couldn't I just use the Android to do that, though? She's gonna be gone. Why would we leave her? Actually leave her? That'd be kind of fun. Yes, sir. Come in. How are you feeling? How do you think, sir? I'm managing. Somehow. Forgive me, but I need to know if you're ready to continue your mission. <sighs> ready? Well, I don't think we have much choice in the matter. <laughs> There's only one way forward. We're making all the right decisions. I feel like. Save the other guy with the robot. I'm saving the body. I've served with Dr. Merritt for over two decades. She's made of sterner stuff. The sternest. Many of us relied on her. I did. Did you know that headquarters offered her a promotion? She would have been the first female astrogator in the history of the Commonwealth. I had no idea. Doesn't matter anymore, really. Not entirely. Marit will be awarded posthumously. I'm taking a bit your word, astrogator. This could pave the way for others. And that's what she would have cared about the most. No doubt about it. That sucks. Damn. That thing looks fucking like it's hot. Hot, hot, hot. Steaming. All right. Please take good care of her. Of course. Dr. Gorsk is next. 
Let's hope he got out of danger in time. It would be good to know what kind of danger we're talking about. Ports key this way. Um, this way. This way. I'm leaving the excavation site. How did he come down? Jumped. Well, hopefully he's good to go because carrying him back is going to be mighty difficult. I've got Gorski's signal. So soon? It's unlikely to be him. Then who? Uh, not who. You were correct, sir. It's just our probe. It looks inactive. Can't be completely broken if you picked up a signal. I'd say it's running in safe mode. Please try to power it on. Do we have time for this? It's for a good reason, Doctor. The probe could prove useful in the search. And besides... You'll see. Okay. I'm opening the probe. Turning the systems on. No, no, stop. Wait for my instructions. There's a button on the left side of the fuse box. Hold it, and then turn the dial again. Now go ahead. Slide records? Correct. I, I didn't know we had access to them. You couldn't have known. This is not standard procedure. But as they say, extremis malice, extrema remedia. Let's take a look. Nothing interesting. Should I be looking for a specific location? Date? The excavation site. Fourth day of the mission. I recognize these structures. This is where they began to dig. Hours passed. Three crew members are still there. Dr. Gorski must have left already. We lost contact shortly thereafter. The probe followed him, and he followed the detector's readings. Going after those metal structures. Yes, that's what I meant. What's next? Last slide. There's mostly noise. Nothing in particular stands out to you, Doctor. They were digging and suddenly, poof, people are dead. No need Game to field. shout, Astrogator. I'm just hey, letting you know what I see. That's all. Uh, hang on. An absurdly high electromagnetic field reading. That's something. <coughs> sort of. What are the earlier readings? Checking. Still, Still pretty high. high. Slide just before. And then normal. And earlier, quite normal. All normal. in a matter of seconds but there's there's nothing except dunes sand a few rocks a shadow shadow another sandstorm i guess yeah. all right doctor let's move on you may turn on the fuses now we'll take the probe with us Okay, cool. Good. A 
got it on my radar. Now I can give commands to the probe. And? What do you see? Is it working correctly? If you run it on manual steering, sir, then, then it works just fine. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm doing. You have a keen eye. I'll put it in auto mode. From now on, it will follow you, Doctor. If it's useful, then okay. You don't like machines, Yasna. I don't like being followed. One second. Oh, God. date with the pope's memory. No ID, Wait. no nothing. Do you want to give it a new ID? Name it, basically. Uh, I'm not really interested in naming machines. Understood. Maybe we should use the previous name. Olga. Yeah, whatever fits. Done. Now, tweaks, and you'll have a flying measurement center at your disposal. I don't see these metal structures anywhere. The only surface structure reported was from the excavation area. The rest is underground. Please explore the area thoroughly. Just do as Dr. Gorski. Use the detector. The probe detected something. I see that in the readings. What is it exactly? Well, the structure from the notes, it fits the description perfectly. <sighs> well done, probe. Olga. Right. Well done, Olga. You're useful after all. Now I think I'll apply for my own. As soon as you find Dr. Gorski, I'll see to it myself. All right, how about that point? What does it look like? The next point, the third one, is a metal bundle running along the bottom of some water reservoir. Interesting. An object as such should be easy to locate. They're all underground. Below me. mentioned in the note around the third point and i have a matching object here all right so how many are left two points or at least that's what he told Koval. what he did next it's hard to assess well, the battery in the detector lasts for only a few hours so he couldn't have gone much further Like an entrance of some sort. Gotcha. I found his tracks. Finally, some tangible evidence that he was going this way. Ah, good. And it's downhill all the way, Doctor. I wouldn't be so sure, Astrogator. The next point is at a height of approximately 100 meters. There. I think we have the fourth point. Oh god. I confirm. It's the fourth one. I see our flag. Definitely uphill. Up with Dr. Gorski on the other side. Well, that wouldn't be such a bad scenario, right? Of course not. No, I wouldn't mind if we bumped into each other before the climb. I want to be so hot, probably.
And I hope he's alright, cuz... This is very far from the lander. These structures are everywhere under the surface. Like a living thing. Three, two, one. The land is departing. Yes, they're on their way. Thank you for your assistance. Without your help, it would have taken much longer. What's the plan for the second flight? The same place? That would work best. Certainly. Proven. When you and Dr. Gorski come back, I'll send the lander right away. <sighs> I've reached the top. The doctor discovered something new from here. Something he called bushes. Huh. I've heard that term before. In their conversations? Between Kovel and Gorski? No, Jasna. You're the one who reported it to me. Right after you landed. Seriously? Well, I... I... I don't see anything like it now, sir. Wait. Kovel noted down the parameters. Azimus 350. A distance 200 meters. Copy that. I'm sending the probe. I know I'm in a hurry, but I should check this place first. This place for what? Got it. Bushes. I see the bushes. And the doctor? Mm, hard to tell. Visibility is poor. Huh. It's going to be harder than before. I don't know how the doctor... <sighs> when it comes to finding a safe route, there won't be a problem. But you'll have to get there on your own two feet. I suppose the probe will carry out the first task. It's capable, yes? Of course. I said the... Hi, Olga. Lead the way. I must say... Something's gonna it's happen a here. Device, this probe of ours. Getting too close. He could not fly for this long. Yes, longer than you can stand on your feet. <sighs> Sounds like the perfect research unit. Maybe even better than a human. Well, she's a deep exactly. exploration team. She would know. know. For me, it's only a matter of time before machines surpass their creators. The only question is when. Agree with that. Become their creators. We have a problem. Something serious? Hold oh. on to the probe. Maybe it's true that machines will surpass us. But not today. The route determined by the algorithm goes over a chasm. I can repeat the command. No, no. I'll go around. Uh. Unfortunately, this is an outdated model. Such mistakes are inevitable. But the perception module itself has already been greatly improved. Its accuracy increases exponentially. Exponentially? Can you imagine us, proteinaceous creatures, developing so quickly, sir? No. Not in the course of evolution. You can't perfect a person like that. That's right. You can't. We wait thousands of years for visible changes. Have you started to fear for your position? Well, everything indicates that the clear distinction between humans and robots will soon disappear. And then what? We won't be limited by our own abilities. Robots will excel in areas where we either cannot or do not want to surpass them. To put it bluntly, they will do the dirty work for us. 
And we'll just sit in the warm privacy of a laboratory, send them exactly. to the other side of the universe? Yeah. That's one example. Well, I don't know. Shh. Astrogator. Can you hear that? No. Uh, what am I supposed to be hearing? <laughs> That's the point. Nothing. Silence. We're talking about robots, and Dr. Gorski still hasn't spoken on the channel. Well, I don't know. He must be a long way from here. Quiet life. These bushes Good. are kind of weird. You better stay away, Doctor. I'd like a brief description. Just keep a distance. Allow me to use the language I would use to describe living forms, sir. Of course. So they look like pituitary, brush like formations. They grow out of cracks in the bare rock. They're high, more or less, from one to several meters. Astrogator, Gorski's not here. I'm afraid he continued to explore. And if he went where I think he did, he might have lost contact with the camp as well as Dragonfly. So we will most likely lose contact too. Uh, possibly. Well, there's only one way to be certain. It's your decision, sir. Please continue your search. We have to find it. Oh, the line's breaking up, but I understood. I'll let you know, sir, when I come out of the tunnel. something he's not telling us again all systems work all systems work she's not a trained astronaut Can you hear me? Loud and clear. Any side effects? Landing wasn't too hard on you. All good. Spine still in one piece. No signs of overstrain. Not even shortness of breath. Perfect. Hopefully the hike to camp goes just as smoothly. Except it didn't. I'm going outside. Visibility? 100%. The dust has already settled. Huh. I've located the second lander. Our people are still on this planet. Sir, something's wrong. What is it? The hatch is half open. Did they report hydraulics failure? How should I know? You were the last person in contact with the crew, Doctor. Right. I'm inside. And? How is it? For now, we have to assume that we are left with only one lander. Is it that bad? You don't need to be a technician to see that Beetle's lost its buzz. <sighs> That's unfortunate. I'm taking Hopper out of here. I'll send it directly to the camp as soon as we find a suitable landing zone. We've gotten out of worse than this. Equipment breaks from time to time. That's normal. Now, go ahead. What's bothering you? Learn from the this beginning, all of a sudden. Communication. It takes too long, especially considering there's a cyberneticist amongst them. Yes, it worries me too. You 
remember right, Cobble? It's beautiful here. Object in sight. This is where they searched the ocean's biosynosis. Meaning, oh, where they caught that fish, right? Mm, yeah. Beautiful. They stopped here first, then walked along the coastline northward. Correct. But I think you might consider taking a shortcut towards the east, straight to the camp. Copy mm. that. Heading east. I don't even know what east is, but I'm assuming it's this way. This is where the rope is. So what happened? Some slob left litter here. Have no respect for an alien ecosystem at all. What kind of litter? <laughs> Cigarette butt. A crumpled pack. So, taking off the helmet for no good reason. Risk of igniting a dusty atmosphere. Irresponsible spreading of DNA. Compared to this, the damn. Excuse my interruption, sir. Can you please confirm that I'm on the correct route? Yes, I confirm. This way you'll reach the camp within an hour. So, continuing. Security procedures exist for humans. The rule of integrity is for the sake of everything alien to us. We shouldn't place one above the other. You say, yes, the mission and the safety of our people have the highest priority. Always. This road may be faster, but it's not the easiest. Anyway, back to our conversation. Of course, Doctor. We must be the most important to ourselves. And they must be the most important to themselves, whoever they will be. In the end, the strongest will survive. Isn't that how evolution works? Not in a biological sense, Astrogator. Besides, I'm not convinced if we should interfere with everything Doctor. alien to us just because we can. Doctor, interference is at the heart of human nature. Man would still be a monkey if he'd only looked at trees instead of cutting them down. 